It was the end of a busy day. The narrow gauge engines were sleeping in the shed. However, Peter Sam was having trouble falling asleep. Duke opened a sleepy eye. Having trouble falling asleep, Peter Sam? I think so. I can tell you a story about my days on the Mid-Soda Railway before you and Sir Handel arrived. I've heard all your stories on that railway, Grandpuff, said Peter Sam. Oh, well, this one's different. And this is the story Duke told Peter Sam. Long ago, a railway called the Mid-Soda Railway was built. The railway purchased an engine named Duke. He was unloaded from the ship where the manager greeted him. I'm so excited for you to join the railway, he said. You will start off with your first passenger train. And the manager left. I hope he will keep me on this railway, Duke thought. He was a bit worried. He went to find his coaches. Duke was very gentle with them as he steamed along the line to the station. Once they reached the first stop, Duke felt better and more confident. You're doing great, Duke, said his driver. We have a few more stops before we head up the mountain. The mountain line was indeed the mountain road. Duke steamed out of the tunnel, feeling very grand. Couldn't be better, couldn't be better, he chortled happily. Soon he reached the top station, and then he turned around to the station by the mid sodor sheds. As Duke was puffing along, he saw a man waving a red flag. He stopped to see what was the matter. My friend and I were mountain climbing, and now he got stuck on the mountain. We have a rope, said the driver. We can try to pull him if Duke can take us. Let's do it! Duke went as fast as he could to the mountains. Soon they found the climber all stuck. His driver and fireman tossed the rope down and the climber got in the harness. At last the climber was safe. He wasn't hurt and was very grateful. He thanked Duke and his crew, and they went back down the mountain. When they reached the station, the manager spoke to Duke. I've heard all about your rescue, said the manager. You have been a hero and deserve to be a part of the railway. Duke was so pleased that he couldn't think of anything else to say. Oh, thank you, sir! And that's the end of the story, said Duke. But Peter Sam was already asleep. Duke chuckled quietly and went to sleep as well, dreaming of the most memorable day of his life. <laughs>